Fox Carolina First Alert Weather Day Update. Morning, everyone. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Catherine Noel. We have a big, big event coming our way for us. We have Tropical Storm Helene that we've been tracking and likely bringing us tropical rains Thursday into Friday. It looks like Thursday overnight into Friday morning early is when we're going to see the heavy rain really come on in and settle on down, bringing flooding to mudslides possible. Flash flooding in areas that don't normally see flooding is going to be a possibility. That is how much rain we're talking about with strong damaging winds still a possibility as well. But that flood watch has been expanded from yesterday. It's now moved a little bit more eastward. It goes into effect this morning, 11 o'clock, because we're going to see a pre-event with a decent amount of rain come on through, inches of it, leading up to our big event of this tropical moisture Thursday night into Friday. So we're going to see inches of rainfall within these areas are going to be most impacted by the potential flooding. So Greenville, northern Spartanburg, off towards the very west there, that's going to be closer to the center of circulation of the storm towards the mountains and northeastern Georgia. As mentioned, Tropical Storm Helene is still a tropical storm coming in with 65 mile per hour winds and by this afternoon expected to be upgraded intensified to a hurricane category one making landfall around, around the Big Bend area the panhandle of Florida as a major category three hurricane and then moving those remnants off towards the north and northwest close to us and bringing us rounds of rain even starting this afternoon towards this evening I think we could see some lingering showers in the mountains this morning but by three four o'clock starting to move this rain in a little bit more eastward you can see a lot of it's focused off towards the west and you'll notice that into Thursday heavy rain off towards the west. Focusing this more widespread, though, as mentioned, moving eastward over the area, just rounds of heavy rain, moderate to heavy downpours coming and staying very persistent into Thursday afternoon and evening. So from the get-go tomorrow, I think when you step outside, I mean, kids headed out to the bus stop are going to be seeing a lot of rain coming on down. Morning commute's going to be wet. Evening commute's going to get messy by tomorrow, and it's going to pick up even worse as we lead into Friday morning. Early from 4 to about 8, this is going to be our worst timing of the event nine o'clock into the mountains but by eight nine o'clock I think we're going to start to see this move northward the worst of it into the mountains from the upstate still lingering potentially by noon isolated spotty showers but most of the rain done at that point how much rain are we expecting a lot I can tell you that seven to nine in the mountains from Asheville towards areas down into Hendersonville. So the combination between the event before Helene, it's going to cause a lot of issues, even with significant damaging flash flooding. That's just going to continue, likely even persisting major flooding into Saturday. So we just have to you know, take this as we go on throughout the next couple of days. But Friday morning is going to be some of the worst leading into Saturday with that flooding out there. We're also going to talk about the winds, how big of an impact that's going to be coming up later. But this is why we have first alert weather days, both Thursday and Friday, finally getting a break from this leading into a much nicer weekend with highest staying in the 70s. So all this is going to bring down our temps as well. But we're obviously keeping a close eye on this. You know, we we'll tried this morning, but I can tell you the next couple mornings, you know, it's going to look nothing like this, Chris Scott. So hopefully people can enjoy their